Good morning. It is a beautiful morning, but very, very brisk. Um, we have a project we got to do for the goat's pen today, get them ready for winter. But here, I want to show you something. Check that out. It has forever changed our landscaping. It's really nice. You can't even hardly see through it. That's because <clears throat> although it looks sunny and looks gorgeous, it is brisk. It got down to 38 last night. Anyways, we have quite a few things we need to get done, get ready because we were not expecting this cold weather this fast. <clears throat> so Darren's already starting and we're gonna go ahead and join him. So if you ever wondered what the heck are we going to do with all those pallets that we've had, well, that's what we're doing right now. They got them so bolted down that we have to cut them with a saw draw. But we are going to get ready to use these. Got some tools loaded up. Chicken's just enjoying what's left on the ground. We haven't introduced you to a couple of the new ones that we got. This is our Nubian doe. She's full-blooded Nubian. Um, not registered. Her name is Lily. She was a bottle baby. Hi, Lily. We got the goat barn pretty much all set up, ready to go. We got a bunch of hay. Um, second cut hay for the girls and the boys. But we're pretty good here. We ended up getting extra feeders. So we put, we have three feeders now. And that's what they get their grain in. They don't get it in a bucket anymore. They start fighting over it. Come here. This is our other newer comer. And this is our registered Nigerian dwarf buck. And he is here. We bought him to mate with Sophie and Spice. Lily here. Lily is a bottle baby. She will just cuddle right up to you and let you pet her. And she don't go nowhere if you're in here. She's right at your side. She's a really pretty girl. Yes, you are. Very pretty girl. Boots. Is kind of standoffish. He's still not used to us yet. So. He's a pretty man. Piggy Sue. Hi, Piggy Sue. So, Sophie and Spice are ready to mate this year. So that's what we got boots for. Although he spends the nights with the boys, he does come over here in the daytime with the girls and they sit there and before he walks over into their thing, he has to put his head down and pee on his head to put his cologne on for the girls. Every morning before he gets into the pen, he makes sure he gets his cologne on. Piggy Sue. Piggy Sue. Jeez. Aw, 
Oh, Lily. Lily. Look at the camera, honey. Look at the camera. Lily is an extremely sweet girl. Huh, you sweetie. So Lily, we got her. She was about three months old um, when we got her. I did do video of getting her and stuff, but and of foods, but we lost the video. Um, one of the things you'll notice is that we hadn't put up any videos uh, in between. Um, if I videotape on my phone, it goes up, but all the video that I did, had on my camera, um, we lost a bunch. So we're just trying to get things put together. That's the problem with software. Um, we couldn't download any of the videos that were on the camera because the software we use, uh, guess had a bug in it and we had to wait for them to fix it <clears throat> and then we also lost a bunch of videos so unfortunately you don't get a lot of them but I did do some videos on my phone and I'm just gonna add them into other videos so you can see them but us getting boots and us getting Lily unfortunately we can't find those videos that's the way it works sometimes why is all your hair standing up, all three of you? It's funny because when they're scared or something, their hair on their back stands up like a dog. Right across the middle. Oh, they're probably because the, the dog's there. That's why. Hi, honey. Oh, you lovey dubbies. Aww. You lovey dubbies. Shushies. <clears throat> when are you going to go into heat, huh? So I don't want to miss the chance of when they go into heat. Um, so every day we put boots in with the girls and when they go into heat, I'm sure he's going to let us know.
right, so that's gonna give us access all the way through from one pasture to the other. And once we cover this top up, that gives them that whole space, four feet underneath to bunker down and stuff. And we'll fill it up with hay. All right, so this is where we're stopping. We just stacked a whole, what we had left up on top. Our battery, we've gone through two batteries now on the drill. So this is what we're doing. We're just stacking them across and we're screwing them in. And that way there's still some ventilation, but it gets, it's gonna keep them warm. So this is what we did in here. Little man, what are you doing? This was the other sliding bed from the pop-up in which we threw that in front. Um, we're gonna still get a gate put across here just to give them protection and stuff. But, let me show you the outside here. It's a little makeshift we threw all put boards all the way across, screwed them down. He went ahead and screwed some of this down just to help block out the wind a little bit. The hay is all protected from the plastic. These are just two cow panels up on top. And basically did the same thing on this side. They have access to both pastures. We do have it fenced off. If we wanted to use one for mating, we can block off one. <clears throat> but they get back and forth from inside of here and it's fairly comfortable. Oreo, how do you like your bed? I don't think you can see back in there. But it's loaded with hay. They've already gotten their green, and now they just got their hay. This is an old bed frame. I don't know if you can see, it's like a cot frame. Um, we just put it all the way across, and we screwed one of the um, supports to the top to hold it. But And we just throw it in there, and it's the holes are definitely wide enough that they can actually pull the hay out. A lot of the hay that they don't eat is, actually falls into their um, feeders, which they'll end up eating anyways. But as you can see, the ground doesn't have a whole lot of hay on it. So that's a plus. It's working for us. But that's what we did. Um, it's enough shelter to keep them warm for the winter. Block a lot of the wind. Uh, the nice thing is, is that the way we built this is that the breezeway goes this way. The wind usually blows either this way or this way. So this plastic actually protects a lot from the wind. We're going to store the hay up on top here for them. This keeps dry and stuff, of course, because the plastic, the plastic is um, six mil plastic, very thick. It's actually for a skating rink <laughs> so we end up getting it really cheap somebody had it's you're supposed to put it down pour water over it and have the water freeze and this is your skating rink this is what you see underneath the ice so it's really really thick plastic that'll definitely last a long time it is also UV protected so But if you enjoyed this video and just watching us getting ready for winter, um, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And as always, you have a blessed day. God bless.